Hey guys, I'm here in Canada with my friend Austin from the YouTube channel Austin Wawa. Hey guys. And he has built a very cool project. Tell me about your project. This is a go-kart, right? Yeah, so this is a go-kart and um, I actually bought this used shell um, from an old go-kart track and uh, they had it sitting on their property and they just put them up for sale online. There was about eight of them, so I just had to pick one up and um, so it turned into quite the project. I ended up buying a racing go-kart and I re-welded the frame to fit beneath the body and I have a lot of batteries in the back and, and it's a, a 48 volt brushless DC motor. It's just over six horsepower and I have a uh, 350 amp peak controller here yep. from Kelly controls. Kelly controls. So I think it's 150 amps continuous. So it's what got is that in kilowatts? That's like, uh, well, 350. If it'll do 350 times 48. Yeah. You guys do the math. <laughs> yeah. It'll be we'll, right we'll here. We'll put it on the screen. So, anyways, that's a lot of power, right? It's a lot of power. Yeah. So right now the speed's limited because of my gearing. Oh, I didn't I see. really look into the. <laughs> I didn't really look into the gearing. I was more focused on getting the whole thing together. So, right now there's a lot of torque, but the top speed isn't. It's not super fast. Um, I haven't measured the top speed yet, but we'll put that on the screen as well. And but it gets up to speed very fast. Very it quickly. gets up to speed very quickly. But I definitely want to change up the sprocket ratios and see uh, how fast I can get it to go. Yeah, and you have? Did you say you have the the controller throttled down to 50 amps, right? Yes. Right now, the the controller is limited at 50 amps, so. That's just how it came, and I haven't yeah. played around with it enough. So yeah, if you put a, actually, bigger, a bigger sprocket in the motor, so you change the ratio, you might have to go a little bit up because it might... Yeah. Uh, so the reason I haven't tested anything is because Jehu actually came here with <laughs> Tom from Battery Hookup, and they supplied me with all of these batteries. The batteries. So Tom was nice enough to sponsor my channel, and Jehu came along. And those are the batteries. And those are the batteries. So, Jehu, you should talk a little bit about the batteries. I actually don't know anything about those batteries. So, they're 3S bricks and they're like one kilowatt hour each. So, there's five, so five kilowatt hours. Uh, and they're just regular 4. Point, like 3.7 uh, volt, you know, nominal lithium. Yeah, lithium ceramic. So, it's a slightly slight variation, you know, different variation of like the lithium cobalt oxide cells that we are normally use right they're normally use some stuff um but essentially they're big lipo packs 3s so you have what five times three that's 15. so he's yep. got 15 s yep and we've got a what are they 80 amp hours <laughs> yeah it's quite a bit and so we have absolutely no idea how how far it can go what we, range we haven't figured out the range um <laughs> like i said we just i just finished it today and jay who helped me yeah hook up the batteries and that's that's where i'm at so i haven't had a lot of time to mess around with speeds rocket ratio um programming there's a lot you can program with this controller yeah uh, you can actually program it on your phone through a bluetooth module which is really cool so you can program it anywhere you just connect through bluetooth yeah so it, it has forward reverse um, regenerative braking um, it's like a full-size car except yeah you know, it's just like your small. van, only smaller. Yeah, only, only smaller. smaller. Like, not, not even that much smaller. Yeah. <laughs> the system is pretty similar. So, will you try to install like a BMS later on? Because right now it's just installed without a BMS, just to test it out. If I can uh, find a BMS that doesn't cut out on me. Oh, um, we will find it. We'll find one that'll so do. Yeah, like I'm going to have to get your help with that one. 200, 300 amps. Yeah. Like, we we'll probably need like a 300 amp BMS. I don't know. It's, what do you recommend? I haven't uh, dealt with batteries of this size before. Well, I actually so, haven't dealt with lithium ceramic batteries ever. So, uh, well, lipos, really. So, here's the thing They're, these are brand new batteries. Uh, they're the same from the same batch, so they're pretty close. To each other so the likeliness of needing a bms anytime soon is very very low right uh they're balanced they're actually pretty closely balanced like within yeah. like was that what, tom that balanced them or did they come balanced they come like that so okay. they came yeah so they come from the factory that way right so yeah. yeah so you don't really need a bms or a very aggressive bms to keep them balanced and stuff right but it is a good idea down the line to put one in there and it's the proper way to build them yeah uh, 
Because there's a lot of power, right? These things, if you short it out, you probably see, you know, a hundred kilowatts. Quite the spark. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so, yeah, hopefully that's going to be a project that he'll be able to, to, to then upgrade this. You oh, know. yeah. I've got a lot of work to do in this thing. Yeah. Um, this is the even first... headlights and taillights. That would be pretty cool. Just Why not? keep working on it. Right now, the, the body rattles quite a bit. Um, so I need to fix that. I need to get a chain tensioner because the chain's flew, flown off a few times and... Then the next thing, you, that, it's, it's running pretty well. It's, uh, you you got to make a little sidecar for this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the next project's going to be the, the dog sidecar. The sidecar. Right? Um, you said there was more of these. That means we, we have to get another one so you can race them. Yeah, you know what? There's probably still a few more for sale. But they're in really rough shape. It's a lot of fiberglass work to get it. If anybody in, in Canada wants to buy those and build a... Uh, Co competition version of this so that you can yeah. go up against it the challenge we'll is out there league. the challenge is out there <laughs> well that's pretty cool let's go do some donuts So another trip to the hardware, huh? Hardware yeah. store. Nine land hardware. What are we getting this time? Um, we are getting some lugs. Lugs. And uh, we're replacing those, the bus bars, with some uh, cable and lugs. Yeah. Because we broke off one of the poles on the uh, on the battery. <laughs> on the first ride. Too. Yeah, we didn't get very far. We rode for like 30 seconds. Heat shrink. It's number four. Yeah. run over my drone Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in more technical details on this build, please visit Austin's YouTube channel called Ostiwawa. He has a whole series on videos on this and many other cool projects he's built. Also, if you're interested in lithium batteries for your projects, check out batteryhookups.com, the sponsor of this video. They have a huge inventory of different types of lithium batteries at really great prices. With that, once again, I say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.